guys back for another quick tutorial um, in my last video I did these rainbow pastel water marble nails so you can check those out real quick um, in this video I'm gonna be doing um, kind of similar but something different um, instead of white I'm going to do hoo -hoo, black in between um, again with a white base I'm gonna do these two fingers on video for you um, and then I'm just trying to do some loopies, some swirls, some groovy, groovy stuff on these nails. And these are turning out pretty cool. Very 80s, very comic book-ish is what they're reminding me of, but it should be pretty fun and quite a contrast. Very cool. All right, so let's get started. Um, I'm using LA Colors uh, Black Polish for this one. Um, which is pretty, um, it's pretty cheap. You can get it at the dollar store, um, Big Lots, that type of thing. If your polish doesn't spread, go around the rim of the cup like that and open it up. Just drop another drop in there to create my bullseye. All right. And basically I'm just going to keep going with my rainbow colors. Um, this time I picked out some more vibrant shades. The actual colors that I'm using are just some cheap nail polishes I picked up at Big Lots. Um, they work the best I've found for water marbling. They are awesome for water marbling because um, of their thin consistency. So. That's why I use them pretty much all the time when I water marble. Cheap ones always seem to work the best for some reason or another. So, all right, and then I'm going to do one more pink in the center. All right, so again, I'm just kind of going for some loopies and stuff like that. So I'm going to anchor my water marble on my sides first. And... See, I'm going to do a big swipe down there. And my dog is growling in the background. Do not mind her. She's just an old bag. Kidding. I love my dogs. They're my world. They're my world. Alright, so this is looking pretty funky, I have to say. huh? Kind of digging that. Alright, so let's see, now I have to think of how I'm going to capture this, or how I want to capture this. Because I got this nail, I got my pinky nail, and I got my ring finger. So I think I'm going to go in like so. And sorry guys, I'm totally blocking the camera. So I'm going to push my fingers back a little bit there and start to clean up my sides and the back portion here a little bit I'm gonna pull them back clean up the front it's pretty clean in the front make sure we're clean in the front we pull out all right let's pull them out slowly slowly ooh it's turned out very cool I have to say definitely something different and I don't know the word I'm thinking of is like electric <laughs> um, so from there with my tape because I tape my fingers and I always pinch the ends like that all you're gonna do to remove it again cleanups gonna be pretty simple when you're using scotch tape it's the cheapest way and frankly, it's the easiest, takes the less amount of time, in my opinion, as well. So I'm just going to separate my tape like that. And then we're going to do this. And just remove the tape like so. Start by peeling off one end here. Yeah, 
And again, cleanup's going to be pretty minimal. You're going to want to clean up underneath the nail a little bit. And then you'll get that square kind of on the top there. Um, just because, um, I mean, you could put little itty bitty pieces of tape around there if you really had a beef and you wanted to. <laughs> I don't know, I don't. I just, when I clean my cuticles, I'm going to, you know, clean up anyways with, um, with a clean up brush and stuff. So anyway, there are my nails. It's going to be a really a fun look to rock, I think. So anyway, I hope you enjoyed this. Thanks for watching, guys. Bye.